Hello, and thanks for joining us for this special tribute recognizing the enormous impact that the McGinley Public Service Law Fellows Program continues to have here at Duquesne University School of Law and throughout our community thanks to the generosity and ongoing support of our board chair, Jack McGinley, and the McGinley family. For the past nine years, our McGinley Fellows have worked in the executive, legislative, and judicial branches of government and related agencies in Pennsylvania and all over the United States, even in foreign countries around the globe. They've gained invaluable experience in areas including fair housing, criminal justice, immigration, political asylum, and diversity within our court systems. These placements helped us to carry out our mission, training students to be the very best lawyers who have a deep sensitivity and commitment to ethical and moral principles. We usually gather in person, and I miss that. It's a special opportunity to interact with our fellows and hear their stories, but we'll get to hear from them in just a bit. And as a special treat this year, we'll also have a guest appearance from a few McGinley Fellows alumni whose careers have been forever impacted by this incredible program. When we meet each year, I like to share a little history and tell our fellows about the origins of this program dating back to 2011. That time I was a new dean of the law school. I went to lunch with Jack McGinley and Jack asked if you could create one bold initiative for the law school that would have a lasting impact, what would that be? I'd already given this a lot of thought. I had been giving talks at universities around the country, seeing game-changing programs like the Eagleton Fellows Program at Rutgers. So I told Jack, it would be fabulous if we could create a program that gave students paid internships in all three branches of government and even in public service positions in other states and countries. That would give our students interested in public service a chance to try it out while still making enough money to pay for their books and other necessities and hopefully allow them to decide they want to make it a part of their life's work. Jack immediately embraced that vision and with his support, the program has become a game changer for our students. We've now had more than 140 McGinley Fellows and the impact has been even more far reaching than I ever imagined. We're deeply indebted to Jack and the entire McGinley family for making these opportunities possible. I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank Jack for his tireless service as chair of the university board. It's been enormously helpful to the whole university, but especially to me. He has been a true wise counsel and mentor and trusted friend. So now comes the best part. Dean April Barton will introduce our wonderful group of 2020 McGinley Fellows so that they can share their stories. Dean Barton. Thank you, President Gormley. Duquesne Law is extraordinarily grateful for the generosity of Jack McGinley and his family, especially in these uncertain times. The McGinley Fellows Program has given many of our students invaluable opportunities to gain legal experiences while serving their communities. This year's class of McGinley Fellows worked in a variety of positions, district attorney's offices, for the public defender, serving judges and state and federal agencies. I am extremely proud to share with you some of their experiences. Hi, my name is Callie Crawford and I am a 3L here at Duquesne University School of Law. This past summer of 2020, I had the amazing opportunity to work for the United States Attorney's Office in Washington, D.C. Although this opportunity was completely virtual, I was still able to participate in briefing and researching cases, listen in on virtual hearings, and participate in a virtual mock trial. I would not be able to participate in such an amazing opportunity if it wasn't for the gift of Mr. McGentley. His gift to continue allowing students to have amazing opportunities such as mine is truly priceless. So for that, I thank you, Mr. McGintley, from the bottom of my heart. Hi, my name is Dominique Wiggins. I am a current third year at Duquesne University, and this summer I had the opportunity to extern at the Department of Environmental Protections for the Office of General Counsel for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, um, and I was in the Western District western district so in the pittsburgh office and i had a phenomenal time um, having the mcginley fellowship allowed me to stay on with an organization that i really really wanted um, to work with i have every interest in going into public 
interest work um, once I complete law school. So having the opportunity to intern at the Office of General Counsel this summer was great. So I just want to thank you so much, Mr. McGinley, for your fellowship and allowing me and other law students to continue to pursue our dreams and goals of working in public interest. Hi, my name is Jarek Sulak, and I was fortunate enough to be one of the uh, law school students to receive the McGinley Fellowship this summer so that I could um, kind of just pursue my dreams of becoming a JAG officer for the Army. Um, so what I did for the summer is that I went down to Fort Benning in Georgia and got to kind of experience everything that the JAG officers um, were able to do. So I shadowed them throughout their day-to-day -day activities, whether that was going to arraignment hearing or going to a court martial or doing the administrative work they did. Um, so as a result of doing the internship, um, I really, really want to become um, a judge advocate in the Army. And that wouldn't have been possible without the money um, that you were able to provide me through the fellowship. So I'm incredibly grateful um, and just thank you. Hello, my name is Jasmine Maven Connor, and this past summer I was an intern with the Allegheny County District Attorney. As a result of this placement, I gained more in-depth uh, knowledge of the criminal system and found that I want to practice criminal law after graduation. So thank you so, so much, Mr. McGinley. Thank you. Hi, Mr. McGinley. My name is Teresa Marr. And I just wanted to create this short video to thank you for your generosity in creating the McGinley Fellowship. It's been my dream since I started law school to work for the FAA. I have my private pilot's license um, and I've always wanted to work for the agency, ideally on the legislation side, dealing more with Congress. And this summer I was afforded an opportunity to do that. I was able to work with congressmen and helping them draft legislation, uh, work with witnesses and um, drafting testimony and I was able to attend a couple virtual hearings uh, regarding primarily the 737 MAX incident. So it was an opportunity I would have never been able to take without the funding from the fellowship because with everything that happened during the pandemic in addition to it not being paid and being in DC I would have never been able to take it. So thank you so much again. Um, it was really a dream come true. Hi, my name is Sean Ketchell. Uh, I'm currently a third year student at Duquesne Law. Uh, this summer, uh, I interned at the Public Defender's Office of Butler County. Um, and I think that was uh, a wonderful experience. Um, I got a lot of experience working in kind of a small, close-knit firm. I was uh, helping the attorneys there research briefs um, uh, rather research and uh, prepare appellate briefs uh, pretty much every week um, and despite the challenges the unique challenges presented by the COVID situation um, I was able to attend basically every step in the process thanks to the kindness of the attorneys there I saw pre-trial hearings uh, I was uh, present for motions and uh, and sentencing and all manner of things. I was present for uh, expert discussions regarding evidence, so I got a lot of experience uh, regarding the process, uh, and I got to help out uh, the good people of Butler County, which is uh, a, a wonderful thing unto itself. So I just wanted to say thank you very much uh, to Mr. McGinley, uh, and have a pleasant day. Thank you. My name is Melanie Pollock. This past summer, I worked as a federal judicial intern for the Western District of Pennsylvania. My work involved attending both civil and criminal proceedings, drafting memos, and researching recent Third Circuit opinions. The experience of working in chambers and observing federal proceedings was invaluable. In addition to witnessing how attorneys interact with the judge and with one another, I was also invited to consider and apply the procedural knowledge that I learned during my first year in law school. I am incredibly grateful to have had such a remarkable opportunity. I am also thankful to have been a recipient of this year's McGinley Fellowship Award. I made the decision to attend law school because I wanted to do my part to make a positive impact on society. Public service is one way to do so. Thank you, Mr. McGinley, for making this opportunity accessible. All of our McGinley Fellows are outstanding students. 
Hearing their experiences makes me extremely proud to be the dean of a law school that teaches our students to serve our legal community with excellence and compassion. To Jack McGinley and his family, I want to thank you again for your overwhelming generosity and commitment to our students. Your dedication to your alma mater speaks to our spirits and mission and is a great example to our future lawyers. You inspire me. You not only provide an opportunity to our students to share their legal skills to those who need it most, you also restore in them a sense of pride and belonging to a larger family that cares deeply for their well being. I am most sincerely grateful, in particular, for the help you gave us this summer during these unprecedented times. Without hesitation, you agreed to help an additional cohort of students this summer who had secured positions that were unpaid due to the uncertainties of COVID-19. Your gift will continue to shape the lives of our Duquesne Law students for years to come. I am honored to be your dean. Thank you again, and may God bless the entire McGinley family. Hi there, my name is Daniel Conlon. I'm a 2014 graduate of Duquesne Law School. I was also a 2012 McGinley Fellow, where I had the opportunity to travel to Costa Rica and work at the Supreme Court of that country. During my time there, I worked on a number of projects, but one of the ones that stands out was working on a published opinion that interpreted the equivalent of the U.S. Constitution's Equal Protection Clause. I currently work at Tucker Arnsberg, where I serve as solicitor to a number of municipalities. And I can tell you that the McGinley Fellowship and my time in Costa Rica definitely impacted my decision to pursue uh, a practice in municipal law. So I want to thank the McGinley family again. And I want to underscore the importance the McGinley Fellowship has on law students today. Hello McGinley family and McGinley fellows. My name is Hillary Rankin. I'm a litigation associate at Morgan Lewis's Pittsburgh office, and I'm a graduate of Duquesne Law's class of 2016. I was a McGinley fellow the summer of 2014, while I worked as an intern in federal court in the chambers of Judge Joy Flowers Conti. Working in Judge Conti's chambers helped me to develop into the litigator that I am today. I had the opportunity to learn firsthand from one of the area's most revered jurists and her staff and my drafting and oral advocacy skills improved immensely. This was hands down one of the most important learning experiences that I had during law school, and it wouldn't have been possible but for the generosity of the McGinley family. I'm extremely grateful to have been a McGinley Fellow. Thank you for making this opportunity a possibility for me. I wish the McGinley family and the McGinley Fellows the very best in all their endeavors. Thank you. <laughs>